Greetings from beautiful Norway, where I'm filming this tutorial from. Hence why you're seeing all these red houses in the background, with some beautiful natural landscapes as well. But if, if you're interested in that content, you got to stay tuned for some future videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below, only if you're interested of course. But let's stay on topic. So, um, have you ever had that problem in your photos? Where you've composed your shot, and you've got a strong foreground interest, as well as a strong background interest, and you want to combine both the shot and have everything in focus. But no matter how hard you try, you can't get it done in a single photo because either your foreground is sharp but then the background is completely blurred out or you can get your focus on the background and get that sharp but then your foreground is completely blurred out and none of these two photos are really what you're after in your photo so um, there's a technique that can overcome that which is called focus stacking and by doing so you have to take multiple photos and get your focus on multiple points in your composition i.e. the foreground and the background and it's a great technique to get a photo that has strong foreground and background interest completely in focus back to front and I thought I'd do a tutorial on that and show you guys how to do that so um, the way I like to structure my tutorials is by taking you guys on scene and talking you step by step through my thought process as I take all these photos and then we'll head back here and I'll show you on my laptop in Photoshop how we can combine all of those into the final product so let's leave Norway and head, head over to Buckingham Palace where I film this tutorial let's go check it out and welcome to Buckingham Palace. So here's the situation. Recently I was at the airport uh, traveling to Germany and I had this great idea because I went to the toy store randomly and I saw um, that they were selling these little uh, Lego figurines which are the royal uh, palace guards. So these guys are actually in the palace behind me and an idea. It is a cheesy idea admittedly but um, why not create a focus stacking tutorial where I'll shoot the Lego figure in the foreground as well as the background separately and then show you guys in Photoshop how to combine the two so that you've got a, a final photo where everything is tack and, sh tack and sharp, tack sharp and focus. Alright, so let's, let me talk you through the setup that I've used to uh, get this photo. So the first thing you'll need is a tripod for sure, without that you won't manage this. And then uh, next up, get your camera set up and get your composition locked in, as well as get your exposure settings right because you want to use um, constant shutter speed, ISO and aperture for every single shot you take. In this case, because it's a bright day, I'm using ISO 100, F11 to keep a very um, deep depth of field while retaining a lot of uh, sharpness in my shot. And I'm using 1 60th of a second just to get the exposure level just right. So that's kind of the uh, dependent variable in that case. And now um, the key is to take several photos focusing on several different um, places in your composition so that you'll have various areas of the photo in focus. So of course the first shot you want to get in focus is uh, of your foreground and that's this Lego figurine over here. And I'm actually using a, a manual focus only lens for this by uh, the size 35 millimeter. But um, you, if you can also use an autofocus lens, it'd be best to just go to manual focus and then using live view zoomed into 10 times you can get your focus uh, tack sharp and I'd recommend focusing on a high area of contrast to really nail that manual focus. So in this case I've um, focused on the facial features of the Lego figurine to make sure that's super sharp. Take your first shot and then move on to your second shot. So for the second shot um, I wanted to focus on the background and here um, I focused on the, these lanterns up here and because it's a 35 millimeter lens, um, I've had to focus to infinity and I've had the lanterns and the whole building uh, will be in focus entirely. Got that shot as well. And um, next step would be to head into, into uh, Photoshop to combine the photos. Yep. One quick piece of advice before we go over is um, the more photos you take and the more photos you merge, the more accurate your result will be. In this particular instance, um, this is quite a this surface area over here doesn't have a lot of interest anyway so I just need two points of interest being the Lego figurine as well as the background and so for simplicity's sake and to keep this tutorial nice and easy I'm only using two photos but maybe if you're in a landscape with a lot of flowers and um, a bit of medium ground as well as background three to four or maybe even five photos give you a better result. Okay so that's all from Buckingham Palace let's head back into Photoshop and I'll show you how to create the final photo. And welcome back to Norway. So I hope you enjoyed that little excursion to central London. But let's get this Photoshop tutorial started and dive right in. 
Got my laptop ready and let's make this happen. And welcome to Lightroom where this tutorial begins. So the first photo I've got here is the one where I kept the Lego figurine in focus and that's going to be my foreground. And just like it's important to keep the composition of all the various photos the same and as well as the camera settings the same, it's also important that we keep the uh, edit settings the same in order for the photo to blend better and be uniform throughout. So in the interest of time I've already done all these adjustments in Lightroom and I'll show you a quick before and after. So here's the before and there's the after and let's copy these settings by right clicking, going on settings, copy settings, just keep all the basic boxes selected as they'll be standard, copy those and let's move to the second photo where the background was in focus, which is this one. Again, the exact same camera settings were used, so if I use um, the exact, exact, exact same um, edit settings as well, the photo should look uniform. So let's right click, go on settings again, and let's hit paste settings. Just give it a second, and great. The fo both photos look the same just the focus is in different areas. So this again is the background focus. Now let's select both photos and move into Photoshop and blend these photos together. So at the bottom by clicking down shift you can select both photos. Right click on the photos. Go on a menu called Edit In and then we want to select Open as Layers in Photoshop. By the way if you've already got Photoshop open this tends to load a lot faster. Now that we're in Photoshop and both layers have loaded, which you can see in the right pane above here, just on the side here. You'll notice that um, at the moment the top layer is our foreground, so Lego figurine in focus. And then if I quickly hide that by pushing this I, bu this I button over here, we can reveal the background layer, where you can see that Buckingham Palace is in focus. And now we need to uh, blend these two together. So um, let's bring the top layer back by clicking on the I button again. And now, in order to blend these two the best way, we need to introduce a layer mask. And you do that by only selecting the top layer and clicking this button down here, which adds a layer mask. At the moment, the layer mask is entirely white, which means that the entire photo is revealed. So now we need to hide away parts of the um, first photo of the foreground and focus to bring the background of the second photo into into view as well. So essentially we need to hide the entire top part of the um, photo which is the out of focus Buckingham Palace in order to reveal the in focus Buckingham Palace. And the best way to do that is to use a gradient. The gradient you can find over here which is this tool on the left pane and the one you want to select is a black to white gradient which is this one here. Now looking at this photo we need to identify our points of interest, which are very clearly the Lego figurine, which we want 100% revealed, and then in the second photo we want the, back, the palace 100% in focus. And everything in between is essentially just negative space, i.e. this road as well as this ledge over here. That's kind of just negative space and doesn't really form part of our composition. So we can use all this negative space um, for our uh, blending region which we're going to do right away by selecting our gradient and because the gradient is black to white we want to um, start by the area we want to hide entirely so by clicking down everything in behind that area will be hidden and everything where we drag towards to will remain uh, visible so let's start at the bottom of the palace which is this corner just over here and then drag all the way down so um, because of the Lego figurine is quite close I'll actually bring it all the way up until the Lego figurine's shoulders about. Give it a second, and here's our um, blending region. So you can see right away the photo is not entirely perfect yet, and we'll clean that up in a second using uh, the brushes. So um, on the left pane, you can, let's select the brush tool, and I'd recommend using a soft brush as possible, as soft as a brush as possible. So set your hardness to 0%. So now we're still using the top layer and only this one layer mask. 
So the white uh, paintbrush reveals the top layer where we had the Lego figurine in focus. So I've got the white brush selected, which you can see in the bottom left corner. And the top of the Lego figurine uh, needs some cleaning up, so I'll go over that just to bring him back into focus and then maybe hide, mask away these two, two people behind it. Great. Now the Lego figurine is 100% in focus, which you can see in the layer mask just here. If you click on Alt and on the layer mask, that's what it currently looks like. Here's our Lego figurine. Let's head back into the photo. And you can see that uh, the other people don't look quite right yet either. So um, by selecting the layer mask, and this time moving to the um, black paintbrush, which you can select by um, switching the foreground and background color or hitting the X button. Now the black paintbrush is the main paintbrush we're going to be using. And that means we're going to hide uh, sections of the photo selected. So I just want to clean up these areas where the people are half cut off, which we can do on the left here using the paint black paintbrush hiding away the out of focus areas. So bringing this guy back into focus, maybe clean up some of this railing as well because it actually looks better in focus, but not obviously touching the Lego figurine. And then the right side as well, we'll just clean up. And that's our photo almost complete. I'll just uh, quickly touch up this area around the Lego figurine just to make that blend a bit better. And our photo is essentially complete. So let's hit save and be done. And that concludes this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed watching and more importantly, I hope you learned something. Now I challenge you to get out there get shooting and apply this technique yourself. If you're happy with your results and you end up uploading any of these on Instagram, I'd love it if you tag me because I'd love to check them out. Anyway, I'm going to get out there and keep exploring Norway, but thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Be sure to like and comment and if you aren't already, please subscribe. See you soon. Bye.